if you're saying that uh, male football players earn more than uh, female football players, then where did they get more money from? Like the club itself. Do the football club make more money from the women or from the men? It's just like commission. Mm. If they say they'll pay you based on the things you sell. And let me say, the man sell more and you sell less. Definitely they'll pay him more. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm as Pizza Makeover today. The perseverance, guys. I'm going to be checking out Jordan Peterson instantly owns woke feminists who tries to cancel him. Wow. Okay. A lot of people have tried to cancel Jordan Peterson, but he's very smart, so I can't wait to see this. So, guys, without further ado, let's get started. Why is it empowering to sleep around? No, no, why what is I'm it saying empowering? is like, I wonder why really you have so much like hatred towards women. I don't, I don't hate women. Where does that root <laughs> in? It sounds like women. you do. I am a woman. So do women have opportunity? Sorry, do women have equality of opportunities and broadly across Western societies? Compared to what? C compared to not having equality of opportunity. Well, compared to 100 years ago, yes. Compared to 50 years ago, yes. Compared to most places in the world throughout history, yes. Compared to a hypothetical ideal, no. But would, I'm but not would I'm that very, very leery. Would hypothetical ideal be a, a good ideal or a bad ideal? Well, it depends on how you define equality. If you define it as equality of outcome, then it's a cat catastrophic ideal. See, this is something too. We know that the left can go too far and we know that the right can go too far. I mean, th th I would say that's the abject lesson of the 20th century. Both can go too far. And we kind of know when the right goes too far. We probably think the right goes too far if you had to boil it down to one thing when people start making claims of racial or ethnic superiority. That seems to be the marker. But we don't know when the left goes too far. And the left, to be frank about it, isn't very careful about differentiating itself into those who are pursuing a reasonable progressive agenda and those who have seriously gone too far. And I would say that when people push an equality of outcome agenda, they've gone too far. Even though it's not as blatantly horrifying, let's say, as claims of ethnic or racial superiority, the consequences of playing that idea out in the world are seriously not good. There, there may be lots of things that are wrong, both on the left and on the right, that don't involve the right being overtly racist and the left wanting absolute equality of outcome. It's a space surely in the middle that matters. And that's why I suppose people feel that sometimes your argument is almost sort of, it's driving towards picking the fight rather than liberalism would, I suppose, encourage you I to, see, to take no. the best and we can have the argument about what's the best and what's the worst of everything that's in between. No, I, what's think, wrong with that? I think that the, the left poses a far greater danger than, than your analysis suggests. I certainly see this in the universities. Um, and the, the drum is being beat very, very hard, perhaps not so much here, but in North America for equality of opportunity or equality of outcome under the rubric of equity. And equity is essentially a doctrine that fosters the notion that equality of outcome is not only desirable, but should be pursued as an, uh, an object or as an explicit aspect of public policy. The, the idea being that if the, there, aren't, there isn't equivalent representation of all possible groups at all possible levels of all possible hierarchies, that that indicates a tyrannical prejudice that needs to be rooted out. And that's having an absolutely pernicious effect on, on institutions, especially educational institutions in North America. That's not a, it's an increasingly widespread view. And I think it poses far more danger than, is, is than it, you think. Is it possible that views become more attractive when something is dissatisfied and when aspirations have not been met, which are reasonable aspirations to have? And you can then say that the answers are wrong or that they... Oh, distort. sometimes. But so I was trying to say, if this is such a popular view, to cite your example on campuses in North America, mm -hmm. it may be that there is something out there that existing society has not satisfied. What well, hasn't satisfied the ever-present human tendency towards envy and resentment, that's for sure. So that's all that's driving it? Not all, but it's a tremendous amount of what's driving it and a lack, of, an absolute lack of gratitude for what we've managed to accomplish and what we have in front of us. If the idea of the gender pay g gap is, it's... It's, uh, it's so poorly formulated that it's almost staggering to me that people can even conceptualize it in this manner. It's not a univariate problem. It's a multivariate problem. Men and women don't yes. make so the same amount of money. So we can break it down and then we can go we, through no, the No, not only could we, we have to. Good. And, and we nice. can't assume that just because in all situations women don't make as much money as men, although there are some situations in which the reverse is true, by the way, that the reason for that is prejudice and oppression. There's many reasons for it. One of them is that men are much more likely to take dangerous occupations. 
how far gender is socially constructed. Well, it, it, okay, so first, the first thing to do is to figure out what the parameters are when you talk about something like gender. So the parameters are, say, parameters of temperament. We know that they differ between men and women, and they differ cross-culturally. But more importantly, this is the crucial distinction. Well, well, we don't know because, I mean, I'm just looking at a piece of recent uh, research on the brain, which concludes there are not two types of brain, and there are there are other researchers. Who wrote? Who did the research? It's the New Scientist scans prove there's no such thing as the male or female brain. Just so you know what you're yeah, but dealing no, with. nobody who has any sense would ever claim I that there was a male and female brain. Okay, these differences aren't absolute. Clear well, there the aren't question. two types of brain, and men and women are more the same by personality than they are different by a substantial margin. There's more similarity than difference. If there's more similarity than difference, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean the differences are irrelevant. So let me give you an example. Right. So. If you picked two people at random out of the population and had to guess which who was more aggressive, and you guessed the man, you'd be right 60% of the time. That's about the magnitude of the difference between men and women. Well, that's 60-40. It's not that much of that's a margin, right. is it? That's right. That's exactly right. right. But, 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 and this is where things get more sophisticated. All right, so then imagine that you had to pick the one in a hundred most aggressive person mm -hmm. and put them in jail, which is what we do. They're all men. So even though at the midpoint, the difference between men and women isn't that extreme, at the extremes, the difference is extraordinary. And most of the activity or much of the activity in complex situations happens at the extremes. So men are more interested in things than women are. And women are more interested in people than men are on average. And those differences are largest in Scandinavia, by the way. So there's no evidence that they're socioculturally constructed. And one of the consequences of that is, is that if you leave men and women to make free choices... Well, let's put aside that Scandinavia is not just, it's not just one country and it has lots of different cultural, political differences within Sure, Scandinavia. but the point is, is that, and this is the fundamental point, is that the more egalitarian the country, the bigger the differences between men and women the bigger. I have no idea how one could possibly you rank conclude order, that. You rank order countries by their sociocultural policies mm -hmm. from egalitarian to non-egalitarian and then you look at the magnitude of the differences in temperament in men and women so in those countries. Let's say that we decide that there are differences and we can argue whether it's about the average. I mean, who is the average woman? Am I the average woman? Mm -hmm. are you well, the in man? some ways, probably. In other okay, ways, not. Right. Okay, good. Good to know. Um, but, uh, is it really all about their decision or might structures not play a role? Here. One doesn't have oh, to be structures definitely completely mad to think role. this, right? No, no, no. What you have to be completely mad is to reduce the whole thing to gender and to assume that it's a consequence of oppression. There's multiple factors at play, and prejudice is one of them. The question is to what degree prejudice or an arbitrary categorization, let's say, and and the lack of provision of opportunities for women is contributing to the pay gap, and what to what degree other factors are contributing. So there's other factors. Like, like I said already, men are much more likely to do dangerous jobs. They're also more likely to do jobs that scale. So for example, because women are more interested in people on average than men are, they tend to work in people-oriented enterprises and those are hard to scale. And because you can't scale them, it's harder to multiply the income. Men are likely to, more likely to move than women are. Men are more likely to take on trade positions. They're more likely to work with heavy machinery. They're more likely to work outside. Women have lacked uh, opportunities that they, they've lacked. The nudge has not operated in the same way. See, so I disagree with that. I think life is easier if you're a girl, um, actually. Yeah, I, I think, I think there's a lot of benefits um, that men don't have specifically. It's usually like an excuse. Like, honestly, I think as a girl, you have equal opportunity in the world. I think there's benefits. Like, for example, we have quotas for women in specific jobs that are given to us that aren't given to men. It's, it's good. Women have privileges. Men have privileges. Uh, according to Peter Singh, Women are more interested in people. Men are more interested in things. And that's, that's actually a fact. Uh, it's actually proving. So it's it's kind of like complicated in some way. Um, though before, during a um, long time ago, probably before I was born, um, in the 18th, 17th, 19th centuries, women um, are paid less to be told based on um, some jobs, uh, women were complaining that, wow, well, they're paying less than men. So some men feel like women are, let me see, let's see women as mostly as a housewife before. But nowadays, this 21st century, things have changed. We are all different. We all think different. They are more maturely. Uh, 
women are kind of like paid the same way or women are paid the same way it depends on the job you are doing and men are also paid equally as women it depends on the job too you are doing and your position in the job you are doing because everything has levels and rankings so it's this world is kind of like <laughs> I just can't explain it enough but but things are getting better day by the day and the more we keep on talking about um issues like this it's it's a result to more solutions for for the betterment of everybody so what do you think honestly speaking i don't know what the issue she's talking about because if you look at it this way let me say or working with a complaint we have the same position if that's what she's talking about then they're being biased because i know if you're working with a complaint both of you are the same position and they're paying the guy more i know you can sue the complaint for, you know, during, before twenty first century, that was that was exactly what was prison. that prison. Prison, I don't think so. Then, I mean, I already know you can sue the complaint for gender um, inequality or stuff like that. But what is he talking about in general? Last case saying that men aim more than women. Okay, I'll use the football. If you're saying that uh, male football players aim more than uh, female football players, then where did they get more money from? Like the club is safe. Do the football club make more money from the women or from the men? It's just like commission. Mm. If they say they'll pay you based on the things you sell. And let me say, the man sell more and you sell less. Definitely they'll pay him more because he did more. But if you look at football, um, most people watch male football more than female football. And you don't expect the male to earn less because he wants everything to be equal. He wanted to treat people very well so that no one will have any um hatred or any um annoyance towards it so that is just how it is even when you go to um if you look at the firefighters now and let me say there are about 10 people working there or like i'm just visiting there at least at most Seven. you see two women there okay at most you will see probably eight, eight nine men then the rest will be men but yeah. if you go to the hospital and see nurses i'm not going to say 95 percent but let's just be mm, 98 percent Majority of people there are women. Majority of the nurses are women. And if those nurses are like, we don't get paid, um, um, other people get paid more. But the other people you are saying they get paid more, they're in a different feed from you. Because you can't choose to um, study a course that um, pays less and expect to get the same payment as someone that study a course that pays more. So that is just it. Well, this was a wonderful video and I like what the last guest said. I'm privileged to be a woman and I'm happy I am because there's a lot of things I get away with that I can't treat. So guys, let us know what you think about our reaction. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share our videos. See you on the next one.